Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is acoustic guitars versus electric guitars. Many people ask me what the differences are between an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar. In the simplest terms, it's basically a matter of electricity. An acoustic guitar does not need electricity to produce sound. An electric guitar does need electricity to produce sound. There are other differences and certainly some similarities, and that's what I'll be talking about today. First, I'll describe each guitar type starting with an acoustic guitar. According to the dictionary, the word acoustic means sound not generated with electricity. An acoustic guitar produces its sound by the vibration of the strings, which resonates through the guitar's hollow body and releases the sound through the sound hole. Its volume is regulated by the string's wood, shape, and size. However, with the advent of modern technology came the ability to amplify the sound using a microphone and then eventually with a pickup system, which can be plugged into an amplifier. But that does not make it an electric guitar. Because remember, an acoustic guitar does not need electricity to produce sound. The mic or pickup system simply gives a louder volume. An electric guitar depends upon electricity to produce its sound. It's a solid-bodied instrument with magnets wired to the body to pick up the sound. Unlike an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar is not hollow and does not have a sound hole. So, unless the guitar is plugged in, there will be no real sounds produced by the strings. The pickup system sits just below the strings, and its job is to send the string vibration signals to an amplifier through guitar cables. There are different kinds of pickup systems, and there are also different kinds of amplifiers, pedals, and effects to help manage and modify the sound. In just a moment, I'll talk about the similarities and compare the differences. But first, a quick show break. Join my podcast club today at the Join the Club link in the show notes. Or you can join on my website, marlenesmusic.com. You'll be part of a passionate group of guitarists, and you'll receive cool member rewards, including access to the monthly virtual meetings where we talk about such topics as song inspirations and practice ideas. So join today at the Join the Club link in the show notes. Now back to the show. These two type of guitars do have some similarities. Both types of guitars are made of wood, and both guitars are built with a head, neck, and body. They both have six strings, and those strings are attached in two places, on the head and on the guitar body. And they both have tuning pegs to tighten or loosen the strings when tuning. Comparing the differences, the most obvious is the sound. Acoustic guitars have a more organic, natural sound. 
The sound volume varies due to the body's shapes and sizes, the species of woods used in the construction, and the strings. Electric guitars sound dull and lifeless without electricity. When an electric guitar is plugged into an amp, it's a different story. The sound is quite obvious and loud, and the sounds can be manipulated and distorted through the pickup, amps, pedals, and effects options. Another key difference is the feel. An acoustic guitar is lighter weight because it has a hollow body. The electric guitar has a solid body, so it's heavier. An electric guitar's solid body is a few inches thick, while an acoustic guitar's hollow body is deeper and usually a bigger shape. So holding the guitars will feel differently. The strings on an acoustic guitar are usually a combination of bronze and brass, while electric guitars are usually a nickel or steel material, so the strings will feel different too. Both types of guitars are fun to play, and if you can play one type of guitar, you can usually play both, particularly from a skills perspective, such as chords, notes, tabs, strumming, and picking. And here's something cool to think about. Most accomplished electric guitarists are quite good at playing an acoustic guitar too. That's because it's generally easier to write songs on an acoustic guitar, since of course you need no other power source than the energy of your fingers to create music. This podcast episode is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the easiest way to create your own podcast. We use Podbean to host tips for guitar playing success. Download the free Podbean app to start, record, and publish your very own podcast in minutes. Podbean provides everything you need to run your podcast and record and publish episodes directly from the app on your phone. Download the free Podbean app today. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N. Head on over to Podbean at www.podbean.com and use the code podcast21 for your first 30 days of podcast hosting for free. Check it out. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.